Royalton football is 9-1 on their season, and they're back in the state tournament, something they haven't been able to achieve since 2008. Our Taylor Archer went to practice on Tuesday to talk with the team. Eight years ago, the Royalton Royals lost in the state championship. Now they're back in the state tournament and hope to make it a different experience this time around. It's great for the program and I know the kids are excited. I know they had set out as a goal is to be able to practice in November and, and here we are. It's awesome. I mean, a lot of the guys that are just graduated in the last couple of years that are watching our games, they wish they were us and it's awesome knowing that we're one of the top teams in our conference. The Royals are preparing to face Eden Valley Watkins who is also 9-1 on the season. Very loaded. They have a, um, a very good offense. Three-year starter at quarterback. Um, kids very, very good. Can put the ball where he wants to, when he wants to. Uh, they got big receivers, fast receivers. Very good at passing. Their quarterback is, he's, he can throw the ball very well. We need to get good at our pass defense. That's how we need to win. When I spoke to Coach Morford and his players a few weeks ago, they stressed the importance of staying conditioned and watching film before facing an opponent. And that mindset has not changed for the state tournament. For a team like Eden Valley, where they're going to, you know, they're going to play basketball on turf, they're going to want to go up and down the field quite a bit. So we have to be in condition. I know that the that the kids have still been working really hard in the film room. Um, you know, doing extra film in the morning, uh, film on the side. You have to keep running and just work harder than the other team. And the Royals will continue to utilize their work ethic to get a win this weekend. In Royalton, Taylor Archer, Lakeland News. And their game in the Class 2A state quarterfinals will also be tomorrow. That game's in Brainerd, though, at 7 o'clock p.m. against Eden Valley Watkins. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.